Shalom, shalom. You are almost guaranteed to look at the people in your life differently after I roll this clip. Why do you believe what you believe? Because at some point in your life, you trusted the information that somebody was giving you. And that someone you trusted told you that a car was a car, a tree was a tree, a bird was a bird, the blue stuff above you is the sky. And that's the way that we began to determine what we believe to be a fact. Most of the things that we believe to be a fact in our lives are told to us through our stories or the news that we hear. So my question would be, if they were deceiving you with the stories they tell you, would you be able to recognize that? Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Like I said, man, there is a lot to unpack, you know, in the deception that is so common. When you think about the word common sense or the words common sense, the only thing that's common is people trying to deceive you. And there's a whole book written about the deception that you must avoid in order to walk in truth, and it's called the Bible. Bible is an acronym, it's basic instructions before leaving earth. I'm gonna, if you, if you don't think that the deception is real, I'm gonna ask you several questions. If an atheist does not believe in God or gods, does not subscribe to world religion. A Christian believes in God and subscribes to religion. What makes them different? And the reason I ask that, what makes them different if they keep the same holidays, both deceived, thinking they mean something different? The Christian says, oh yeah, I, 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 keep, I keep it because it's the birth of Jesus. And there ain't one doggone pastor out there that can show where we're commanded to keep that in the Bible. The atheist keeps it because, oh man, my kids have to have something to, you know, to keep them in the holiday spirit. And you're, you're, you're sitting off singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And nobody's addressing the fact that this stuff has pagan origins. Here's another one. If money is the root of all evil, that's biblical. If money is the root of all evil, not money itself is evil, but money is the root, then why are all these places of worship telling you that money is tithes when it's not. And we can prove that via the Bible. The word tithe simply means a tenth. But biblically, we don't see anybody paying their tithe in money. Hmm. The deception is off the chain. Man, if you go to one of these places of worship, you know, I remember growing up, my grandparents taking me to church and they were always every year they had some missionary trip and they were going to help people in third world country. They were going to other countries, pretty much taking a vacation, uh, calling it missionary work. And these, these were expensive trips. But let me ask you this, if we got over 600,000 homeless people and over 330,000 churches, why pay $1,000 for a plane ticket to go overseas and help somebody when each church could simply help two people and that would solve our problem 
with homelessness. Hmm, the deception is off the chain. I'm telling you, man, when you, when you think about what I'm saying and what that clip was saying, you can't trust anybody unless they fear the Most High Yah and keep his commandments. Flip all these doggone religious folks that have a form of godliness, but deny the power of because the book says, avoid such people. See, the reason you are told to avoid them is they have the appearance. They have the lip service, the lip worship. But behind that lip worship, there ain't no action. See, this will make you look at your mama a little bit different. This will make you look at your daddy a little bit different. Your own blood family. The people in your circle. See, in the last days, there's nothing wrong with having a small circle of those that fear the most high Yah and keep his commandments. I'll tell you, you got to think, Yahushua HaMashiach had 12, and one of those was Judas. And from the moment Hasatan entered into him, he wasn't worth a dang. It would have been better off if he wouldn't have been born. So I'm telling you, you cannot trust these people. You, oh, here's another one give you another one. Your pastor who potentially has a bachelor's, a master's, or even a doctor. You know, who you think studies the word. Studies the word. And he won't have anything biblical in support of the questions that I've asked showing that this stuff is accurate that we have been taught. I'm telling you, you better wake up, man. I'm telling you. You better wake up. Your doggone mama and daddy that taught you all this foolishness, that sung you all of these deceptive songs, they were deceived. They were deceived. And here's the, here's the bad part. The, what makes this really hit home is your average person that is deceived and has helped play a role in you being deceived, when you bring them to the truth, when you bring the truth to them, don't be surprised if they reject it. Why is that? Because the book says they would reject it. These people don't love the Most High Yah. And for that reason, they don't love his truth. He sends them a strong delusion. That's all biblical. You know, your pastor will deceive millions into telling them to sow a seed. Give me that money. Somebody in here throw, sow a $500 seed, a $1,000 seed. Matter of fact, Something's telling me somebody's got a $10,000 seed they want to sow. The whole time is just smoke and mirrors. It's just deception. It's just stage play. When those aren't the seeds that they was talking about in the Bible. When the word says, build you houses and plant you gardens, what kind of seeds you think they was talking about? You think they was talking about uh, kasef seeds? Hebrew word for money. Or do you think they was talking about true agricultural seeds that you can plant water and they would grow and the Most High Yah would increase them? I'm telling you, man, there's definitely a, a, a whole bunch of weeds amongst, there's definitely a whole bunch of tares amongst the wheat. And chances are, you don't even have the eyes to see it. You know, when, you, when you're going to your, your family and friends and you think they're interested in the truth, I want to I I give you a huge awakening. They're not. They're not. Very few people are. And you'll see it in their lifestyle. You'll see it in their lifestyle. Oh, I love God, but I don't think we should keep that commandment. Well, doesn't the book say, if you love me? Over, over 15 places in the book, it says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. They sit up there trying to tell you that they love him, but don't keep his commandments. Come on, man. The deception is off the charts. The stage play is off. Here's another one. Okay, if you look at the definition of a democracy, where the meaning of the word means governed by the people, when you look at it, hmm. Okay, if we governed by the people, why are you sitting up voting for somebody that wants to have rule over you? and pass all kind of stuff you don't support.
but you're on that side. The deception is off the charts. Your bank teller that calls themselves a Christian, a Catholic, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter what religion they claim to. Tell you they believe in the Most High Yah and God is good. That's what they're going to say. And they will allow you, because it's a job, they'll allow you to go in there and, and, and apply for a loan and that loan got 30% interest on it. They don't care. They ain't going to never say, this is not for you. This is a bad deal. They ain't going to never rely on the book to say, man, you know what? This is not what you need. Here are some other options out here because the book says the borrower is a, a servant to the lender. Hmm. The deception is off the chart and I'm only, I'm on my way to work just naming a few of them. Chances are these people that think that they, they know the word, that they've read the Bible from front to back, how come they don't live none of it? How come, how come if they've read the book from front to back and know that we are supposed to be keeping these feast days, how come they keep every holiday that ain't listed in the book and not one of them doggone feast days? Let, let, let's, let's call it what it is. You cannot trust people unless they fear the most high Yah and keep his commandments. He tells you from people that I'm talking about, deceptive people that bring in damnable heresy, you need to turn away from these people. He doesn't tell you you need to love on them because it's your mama. You need to love on them because it's your family and your friends and, and coworkers. No, he says avoid such people. He says if you're not willing to hate your mother, your father, your wife, your children, and even your own life, you're not worthy of being my disciple. Hmm. See, the thing is a lot of people choose to stay deceived because when a messenger which the book calls an angel etymology of the word angel is messenger when a messenger comes or an angel touched by an angel when an angel comes and gives you a message just like they did in the book they rejected it they were often offended and the book says not many people were healed due to their own unbelief Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking a gun barrel straight. Wow.